So if you've been keeping up to date, then you'll know that it's basically confirmed that Apple's gonna be releasing some sort of tracker, probably called AirTags, at some point this year. But before that happens, I thought I would make a quick little video just to show you how that will most likely, or probably, almost definitely work. Basically, they use a system called Crowd GPS. But just for comparison, really quick, let's take a look at regular GPS, which as we all know, stands for Global Positioning System. GPS works by using satellites that are constantly orbiting around the Earth. Then the item you're trying to track, like say your phone, for example, exchanges signals with the satellites to let you determine its location. Although technically you have quite a bit more satellites than that, I think it's about 30. And what having all those satellites does is it allows you to triangulate the location of the phone, which gives you a much more accurate reading. So that's normal GPS, but AirTags are gonna be really small and have an even smaller battery. So they won't have the power or the hardware to send signals all the way up to space. So they'll use a system called CrowdGPS. So with CrowdGPS, you'll just have your little AirTag and instead of sending signals all the way to space, it'll send a short range Bluetooth pulse at regular intervals. If your iPhone's in range with that signal, which is probably gonna be around 30 feet at most, we all know how Bluetooth is. <laughs> Then you'll be able to use the ultra wideband technology in the newer iPhones and just regular Bluetooth in the older iPhones to find the exact location of your tag. Word on the street right now is that Apple's gonna have a system to where you can open up your camera and just look around a room and a little balloon will pop up wherever your tag is. So if you can't see it because it's hidden under something, a little balloon will pop up and you'll be able to know exactly where it is, which is pretty cool, gotta say. But now you might be asking yourself, what is even the point <laughs> of something like this if you have to be within 30 feet of it? And that's where the crowd part of crowd GPS comes in. With crowd GPS, ideally anyone who has an iPhone would be able to pick up these Bluetooth pulses. And since millions of people have iPhones, that creates a massive network. And if any one of those millions of phones receives a pulse from your AirTag, you'll be notified and then you can go to that location and use that camera feature to find the exact location of your AirTag. Now there are similar trackers on the market right now like uh, Tyler Tracker, for example, that also use CrowdGPS, but they are way less effective than what Apple has the potential to be. And that's mainly because their CrowdGPS networks are a lot smaller because they only consist of their users, people who have a Tile or a Tracker. And this is the part where it gets even, even worse. Those users have to have the app running in the background for it to even pick up on the Bluetooth pulses. So I think you can already see where I'm going with this. If Apple is able to make every iPhone or even just the more recent iPhones all passively check for that Bluetooth pulse, then their crowd GPS network would be thousands of times more dense and have thousands of times more coverage than any of these other third-party trackers. And that's why I think this is so cool because if you ever lose something with an AirTag on it, it would be like having the entire world searching for your one little item. I just think that's awesome. <laughs> if you're interested, I actually made a video a little while ago where I had a friend take one of the trackers that you can get right now and hide it somewhere in Rome. And then I spent the day trying to find that tracker. So if you wanna see how that went, you can click right there and that'll take you to that video. Other than that, I hope that I gave you guys a good idea, a good sense of how the AirTags will probably work. If I did, and if you enjoyed, make sure to click that like button and also subscribe. That would mean a lot. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around. You should watch it.